wears the whitest underwear in the UFC. Man, I say Matt Savage wears the whitest G-string bikini underwear in the Carolina Man. Woo! I do not want to go to the Peace Bowl. I want to go to the Gator Bowl or the Fiesta Bowl. Thank you very much. And uh, I, I can't answer the question about who wears the wildest underwear in the band. <laughs> underwear in the band? That'll be me. I don't know. Yes, I do know why. I didn't know how. Because I see my underwear. And I haven't seen anybody else's underwear. So I'd have to assume it would be me. I don't know. Okay. Who do you think wears the wildest underwear in the band? I think you do, Jay. You do, don't oh. you? No. You do, I, don't you? Who, the only two, two pairs of underwear I've seen will be my two roommates, Nude and, and Joe. Uh, I think Joe has the craziest, so... And uh, the person that wears the wildest underwear would have to be Chad Duke. Who's got the craziest underwear in the bed? We do! Well, the most interesting underwear had to be during the first football game when we were all wearing white pants and it was raining. Ty Niblack had some pretty snazzy boxers he said he got at Walmart. <laughs> she would like to comment on the absolute wildest pair of underwear in the band. I am not say anything about anyone's underwear. She's really too embarrassed to comment on that guy who marches by her who can't seem to tuck his underwear in. So she has a very good view <laughs> of his underwear. <laughs> Kings Park, New York, and I'm going to talk about our bus ride here. We're at NC State right now, and currently the score is 7-7. We're tied, but we're going to win. Uh, on the way here, we had a lot of traffic, and of course, Dr. Heil had to conduct traffic and just get us through. We were riding the shoulder the whole time. I had the privilege of being on bus number one, where Heil was. He got off. He had to move a bicycle out of the way. He was changing tires. He was just knocking on windows, moving everybody out of the way. It was just great. He was just, he's just the man. <laughs>
for marching Tar Heels have been selected to represent the state of North Carolina and the University at the 1993 Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade in New York City. Celebrity, I think he'd have to be Al Bundy, definitely. Why? Because he looks like him. Dr. Hyle is a cartoon character. I think you'd be the Tasmanian devil because he goes spinning around, tearing through things, <laughs> and just making a big mess. But he's sweet. But he's he awesome. Sweet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, if Dr. Hyle had to be any cartoon character, I suppose he'd have to be Popeye. Why? I'm not going to tell you why. The color guard decided that if Dr. Hyle could be any cartoon character, he would be... Darkwing Duck! If Dr. Hyle were a celebrity, um, I think the most person I'd most associate him with would be Sean Connery. Um, because he's such a straight man and so serious, but every once in a while you hear that little funny comic come out and it's really great. Okay, if Dr. Hyle was a cartoon character, he'd have to be Superman because... He's everywhere, he's always in control, I mean, the man controls the weather, I, I'm pretty much thinking he's in tune with the gods somehow, so how would be Superman? First, I want to earn some brownie points. I've come to grow, I've uh, grown to respect Dr. Heil very much. And uh, now to answer the questions, if he were uh, a cartoon character celebrity, who would he be? I'd have to say, if it were possible for Droopy and Yosemite Sam to breed, I think Kyle would be their offspring because he has that stoic nature of Droopy, but I know I sure as heck wouldn't want to cross him as the Yosemite Sam side. Okay, here we are. We're at the Clemson game, and we're asking Matt Riverton here, what uh, cartoon character do you think uh, Dr. Kyle would be? All right. I think Dr. Kyle should be Speed Racer, except he doesn't drive anymore. He gets out, and he directs the traffic. <laughs>
is it that the marching band is celebrating its 90th anniversary?
Willard under the direction of Dr. James Harlan. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. And that being Savage, the murky Tar Heels from the University of North Carolina struck their top Carolina blue down Broadway. Here's drum major Brian Miller. Hi, y'all. Performing for President Clinton this year at our university's Bicentennial Day celebration was quite an honor. Now it's an honor to perform for you at Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. of the New York trip and probably think most of us will remember the most. Um, the night before the parade we were uh, standing in front of Macy's department store and I was facing the store and just the thought of being in this place, seeing this magnificent building, seeing uh, something that's been part of Thanksgiving tradition for 67 years, the thought that the UNC marching band was there, this is really something we can't forget. I love it. I won't forget that. Also the chance to play in Carnegie Hall and the chance to play two Susan marches in Carnegie Hall. That was quite a thrill for me too. To play the freelancers is my favorite. The opportunity to spend time with people in the band, to get to know some others better, to get to get closer to a lot of people. I think that's a trip that we'll never forget. It's a great time. Even though, even though we got smacked in Madison Square Garden, I really had fun at the game, and it was really neat having the whole group there and cheering and participating. What I liked best about New York City was playing in the leaves on the way up there and being able to walk down the middle of the street in Broadway by myself. And the ticker tape at the end of the parade, just like in the 1940s. But what I liked best about the parade was, Good morning, good morning, it's great to stay up late. Good morning, good morning to you. There are some other bands that are better known than ours, and that there are some other bands that are supposed to be, supposed to be better than ours. But I personally wouldn't want to be in any other band but this one. This past week has been a very historic week for the Marching Tar Heel Band program. On Monday evening, the UNC Symphonic Band had its premier performance at New York's Carnegie Hall. The Marching Tar Heels arrived in Chapel Hill early this morning from their performance yesterday for millions in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Even now, a portion of the Tar Heel Band remains in Manhattan, preparing for the Carolina-Minnesota basketball game this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a warm reception for this hard-working, marching Tar Heel Band? Yeah! Today's halftime show gives you a sneak preview of one of the next year's shows, as well as two highlight songs from previous halftimes this year. We begin with a portion of the music of John Williams. Here is the theme from Raiders of the Lost Ark.
At this time, we ask the audience to please rise as we honor the senior members of the Marching Tar Heels in the traditional singing of Mark the South. the Gator Bowl or the Fiesta Bowl. Thank you very much. <laughs> 